What's up guys, on today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to change a clutch cable, firewall adjuster, and clutch quadrant on a 79-04 Mustang. All right, so over here at the bench, these are the parts I'm gonna be installing. Um, I'm installing a Maximum Motorsport clutch cable, their firewall adjuster, and their clutch quadrant. Um, if you look around online, this is kind of like the go-to setup. Everybody seems to really, really like this setup for their, their clutch cable and their adjustments. Um, but with that said, I don't know that there's a whole lot of difference between you know this firewall adjuster and this quadrant compared to what you know everybody else's is. Um, the one thing I will say is the cable. Um, the cable is actually the same cable that Ford uses. They source it from the same supplier according to Maximum Motorsport. It's a little bit longer than the stock cable, so it's better for header clearance and things like that. But uh, with that said, this cable seems to be the go-to. It holds up to uh, higher than stock clutch pressure and things like that. So I'm going to get this one installed, show you guys how to adjust it up and how to make it work. First thing I'm going to do is get the uh, the clutch cable undone from the uh, clutch fork. It's got a, I have a 3 8 bolt in my clutch cover. Remove the 3 8 bolt, remove the cover. And then you're going to get a pry bar in here, push the, uh, push the clutch fork forward and then release the cable. Once you have that out, you get a releases e-clip down here. You have to hold on to this if you're using the Maximum Motorsports cable, um, then reuse that stock e-clip. Once that's done, just push the cable through to the other side and get it out of the way. Once your cable's free, go ahead and push it up toward the front of the car. So once you've got the cable loose, come up here by the oil filter and just to the right of it, there's gonna be a bracket holding the uh, clutch cable to the frame. It's got an eight millimeter bolt in it. Just go ahead and zip that bolt out. Next, there's gonna be two bolts on the firewall that you have to release the uh, clutch cable from the firewall. They are five millimeter. Um, depending on what year that you own, there may be one, there may be two. Uh, just kinda of depends on what vintage of car you're working on. All right, now that's loose. Now we gotta go inside the car and release the cable from the inside. All right, next thing you wanna do, depending on how big you are, is remove the driver's seat. And then once you have the driver's seat removed, you're gonna come underneath and release the, uh, release the cable from the clutch pedal. Pay no attention to my cover, I have a brand new one. All right, so underneath the dash, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try and release the, uh, the end of the clutch cable right here from the stock quadrant. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to do it off camera because there's no way that I'm gonna do this one-handed holding a camera So I'm gonna go ahead and release that and then pull the cable through to the other side of the firewall Once you get the cable to release from inside the car You go ahead and pull it out through the firewall and then hopefully be able to snake this thing up through Just like that now the stock cable is out, we gotta pry off this uh, stock quadrant and the adjuster. So there's a clip here that you can pull straight out. It'll just pull out, this'll slide off. Um, there is tension on that spring, so just you know, stick a screwdriver in there and pry the spring off. Um, as far as what's back here, the adjustment back here, back by the uh, clutch switch, you're gonna to have to basically break it to take it off. Um, you can just see one of the springs for it right there, just at the top of my finger. Um, you can release that if you're if you're lucky, but most people end up having to uh, break the little adjuster pawl off of there. So I'm gonna do that off camera because there's no physical way that I can fit you guys in here and try to do all that at the same time while holding the camera in one hand. So I'm gonna pry this thing off, pull this clip out, and I'll uh, be back in a second. 
All right, now that the stock quadrant's out of the way, you can kind of see this adjuster that I was talking about back here. If you take this spring loose on this, on this steel arm here and pop the spring to the other side, this adjuster will just slide right off the end. Um, it's kind of a pain to do that, so if you have to break this, it's really not that big of a deal because you're not going to be reusing it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that done off camera. Once your old stuff is all removed, you're going to take four thin washers, two thick washers, and put them on the quadrant shaft here. Then what you're going to do is take your new quadrant. Let me see if I can do this on camera. So you're going to slide it on the rear shaft first. Just according to maximum, it's eighth inch, and then the whole thing should slide on like that. Any remaining washers that you have left over from the kit, use as many as you can here on the outside and put your two clips back in in the two spots that you removed to get the stock quadrant off. All right, back outside the car, we're gonna take the flange for the firewall adjuster, push that through the firewall, and secure it with the two bolts that come in the kit. Once that's done, go ahead and take your adjustment sleeve and thread that in. Just a quick note before we put the cable in, guys. If any of you guys are running like a cheap Chinese cable, like a Steeda SVE, uh, you know, whatever that house brand is for American Muscle, UPR, um, pretty much name a cheap Chinese, you know, cable for one of these. My suggestion would be to take some motor oil and put it in the end where the... Uh, firewall adjuster goes and wait until it comes out the bottom side of the cable. Make sure you have like motor oil or some sort of lubricant in this cable because the uh, the cheap knockoff Chinese ones, they get real stiff, they get hard to use. I'm telling you, you're better off lubricating them. Now this one is Teflon lined. The Ford stock one is Teflon lined. You shouldn't need to use any oil on those and they feel you know nice and free. So. I'm gonna go ahead and install this one, but for those of you that have, you know, maybe a different brand than what I have here, I would oil it. I'm sure somebody's gonna argue with me down in the comments, but uh, the reality of the situation is you can go on any internet, internet forum and find out that, you know, these cheap Chinese cables really don't hold up. And you know, the only way that you have a chance of making them last is if you oil them. Whether you agree with me or not, that's up to you. Maximum Motorsport does not want you to use the stock bracket that we took off on the frame on the stock cable. So uh, with that in mind, you're kind of on your own as far as routing. They want it basically in a giant U-shape with uh, no kinks in it. So with that said, I'm gonna try and get this uh, threaded in the general vicinity of where it's supposed to go. So inside the car, I got the, uh, the cable stuck in the uh, in the quadrant. Uh, with that said, the next thing we gotta do is connect it up to the uh, clutch fork and adjust it up and we're done. All right, so now underneath the car, you wanna go on the inside of the, the sway bar, basically right underneath the uh, oil filter on 4.6 and back toward the transmission. Back at the bell housing, same deal as before, through the ear. There you go, into the fork. Um, put your uh, E-clip back in. Go ahead and put your cover back on, secure it with the bolt. After that, we gotta adjust the clutch. This situation that I'm about to explain only applies if you're running Maximum Motorsports cable and quadrant. So if you have a more than three quarter inch gap between the quadrant and the cable, once it's installed in the car, uh, Maximum Motorsports wants you to install this little widget, as they call it, onto the cable to take up that extra space. Um, what you're gonna do is pre-assemble this on the cable 
put this piece into the widget like so and then they just give you a little piece of shrink tubing that you would then shrink over the top if you need to. Again, um, this is only if you have more than a three quarter inch gap between the end of the cable and the end of the quadrant. It just takes up that little bit of a gap. All right, now that we got everything installed, the last thing we have to do is adjust the clutch. Now to do that, you're gonna use the firewall adjuster. Now, according to the Maximum Motorsport instructions that I have, they want between five and eight pounds of pressure on the clutch pedal to move the clutch pedal approximately a half inch. Um, it's kind of vague, um, it's kind of hard to feel that. You know, everybody kind of has a different feel of what that fe actually feels like. The easiest way that I've found to do it is actually the dime method. So some of you guys may already know this, but the easiest way to do this is you take a dime and you hold the end of the cable straight and you should have just enough room between the edge of the cable and the firewall adjuster to fit the dime in. Just like that. So, that's the dime method. I know if you guys get the clutch cable too loose, so you thread the firewall adjuster further in too far, it actually puts slop in the cable, and as you're driving down the road, your clutch pedal will vibrate and make noise. Um, in that instance, you know, you'd have to thread out the adjuster, out of the firewall, put some more tension on the cable, and it'll get rid of that vibration and that noise. Um, to change the engagement point, so if you want a lower pedal engagement, you would thread the firewall adjuster in toward the firewall. That would make the clutch grab closer to the floor. If you want it closer to the top, you would thread it out, just the opposite. You would put more tension on the cable, therefore the clutch would grab right at the top of the, uh, the stroke on the cable. So probably the biggest thing I notice now that I'm driving this thing around with this new, uh, you know, clutch cable, quadrant, firewall adjuster installed, probably the biggest thing that I notice isn't really the clutch engagement. Yes, it's much better than what it was before, but I think the biggest change that I noticed personally was when I change gear, it's much smoother. I think what was actually going on is I think that stock quadrant wasn't letting the clutch fully disengage when I would press it in and it, the shifting is much smoother. It was a lot more notchy than what it used to be. But yeah, the, the clutch works well, feels good, nice and smooth. No complaints whatsoever. As always guys, if you guys like the video, hit like. If you wanna see more content, go down and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.